Yellowstone's played a key role in bison conservation because there was a time period where there were no wild bison and the last remnant animals were found in the backcountry of Yellowstone. Today the population really is different. Um, it's large, it's recovered so well that um, what we're trying to do is um, preserve prehistoric behaviors that shaped bison as a species. Things like migration to various low elevation winter ranges, um, immigration between breeding groups. We've been so successful that uh, we have to deal with um, animals that want to go beyond the area that we have responsibility to manage. On the surface, it looks like it would be a simple solution to let the animals go and do nothing. Bison leaving the National Park isn't particularly a problem to the National Park Service. But bison leaving the National Park and going to other locations is more of a problem to all three states that surround Yellowstone because some animals within the bison population are infected with a bacterial disease called brucellosis. Laws prevent movement of brucellosis infected animals. So until we solve the problem of how specifically you move animals in this regulatory constraint, um, we'll, we're kind of limited to shipping animals to slaughter or developing hunting programs for bison when they leave the national park. What we've learned since we began managing wild bison together with the state of Montana is that the population can fluctuate from 2,500 to 4,500 and not create any additional transmission risk to the livestock industry. Um, it minimizes the um, safety risk to travelers along highways and it reduces the conflict between private landowners that live in the area that bison select when they move to uh, locations outside the National Park. When Yellowstone was drawn on the landscape, there was lots of space for you know, migratory wildlife to move freely back and forth and occupy these low elevation areas. Um, conservation of wild bison in the future it will be all about you know, how well we negotiate space for them and how well we actually manage wild bison when they leave the National Park. Um, there's no doubt that um, bison need to be managed because they compete directly with humans for habitat. So I would invite everybody to learn more of the details of uh, what's been accomplished and the constraints um, that go along with um, allowing bison to just roam freely, unchecked, um, across modern society. <laughs>